Astronomers have opened a stunning new window on the universe. As we peer ever deeper into space, we travel farther back in time. This idea that we can map the universe and see its history is a testament to our imagination and our desire to explore. How far away are these things? Are they little dwarfs nearby, or are they star-forming proto-galactic sub-fragments? What are they? Now to a distant horizon we venture, to the very brink of time and space. stars number 100 billion. It is so vast it takes 70,000 years for light to travel across its expanse. For more than 100 million centuries it has defied the eternal night of space. Way is but one galaxy out of billions of others. And yet, behind its luminous veil, amid the chaos of gas and stars, is a small wonder. Nine tiny planets united by little more than their orbits. In their embrace, a star of no particular distinction. Within their sphere, a world of singular importance. As we know, our planet Earth is the one place in all the cosmos where creation has allowed itself a few admirers. Chief among them, the Garland family of Fort Worth, Texas. Shelley and I first started coming out to the uh, Davis Mountains when we were still in college. And we were first introduced to uh, the mountains together uh, and the nighttime skies right out here at the uh, state park. Fifteen years ago, Shelley and Don Garland helped organize what has become the largest gathering of stargazers on Earth. 150 miles from the lights of the nearest city, the Texas Star Party will take place under night skies as dark as any in the United States. Six nights each spring, up to 700 stargazers descend on this remote cattle ranch to roll out their telescopes. Welcome to the Dust Bowl, the Texas Star Park. They come geared up with precision mirrors and equatorial fork mounts, sophisticated computers and star tracking software. The sky's the limit. 
most exercise you get in the course of an evening is taking the top off. There's no hangover. I don't kill off brain cells. Uh, I'm with a great group of people. Uh, I can't think of a better thing to do. Um, the Ring Nebula, um, Jupiter, uh, Venus, M13. For the Garlands, the Star Party is part vacation, part pilgrimage. This trip marks an important rite of passage. Yes! Ten-year-old Ian has attended every year of his life. This year, he'll get his first telescope and take his place amid the community of amateur astronomers. There's a lot of things out there that, uh, that people never realize are out there. Just seeing these points up at the, at the, uh, in the sky that don't really mean anything except they're just white dots. But there are all kinds of things out there that are just, just unbelievable to see. As night approaches in West Texas, a thousand eyes are at the ready. For stargazers around the world, the secrets of creation are emblazoned across the heavens. But even as the universe beckons us to explore, it also challenges us with its incomprehensible distances and staggering voids. As we discover more and more, and the universe seemingly gets larger and larger, more complex, vaster, there's a tendency perhaps to think that, that humans' role in this diminishes with time. But for me, anyway, it's, it, it's, uh, it's like learning my world better. I feel larger the more I understand. Uh, I, I don't understand the purpose of it all at this point, but at least I begin to understand my place in it. Today, the science of astronomy is being transformed by a new age of technological advances. On mountaintops around the world, scientists are opening ever larger telescopes, capturing light from ever more distant reaches of the universe. That light may have traveled millions, even billions of years to reach us. By the time it does, it offers a window into the distant past. These giant telescopes, they are the only true time machines that human beings have. And they are totally faithful. There's nothing hokey about this. You look through a giant telescope, you get a view of a very distant region of space, and it is as though you were a historian and could put your eye to a telescope and actually see Hannibal crossing the Alps and all those elephants trotting along. We are actually seeing the universe and the things in it behaving as they did billions of years ago. The deeper into space we peer, the farther back in time we venture. This notion that we can study the history of the cosmos is only a few decades old. Early in this century, astronomers believed that the universe was eternal, infinite, and unchanging. Our solar system, they found, is nestled within a flat, rotating disk we now know as our galaxy, the Milky Way. But they envisioned our galaxy as the whole of the cosmos. Beyond lay only the blackness of space. Albert Einstein, for one, defended this model of a static universe. But he recognized an implicit flaw. Gravity ought to cause stars and gas to collapse into a common center. 
Instead, he proposed 